so there has been a um, rift among the AEW fan base in the recent um, in recent days. Ever since the Chris Van Vliet, I hope I'm saying that right. He's I'm sorry, dude. I I I don't particularly like you, Chris. I know you can care less about my pee on ass, but anyway. It, he just comes off as very, very, very arrogant to me, and I don't like people like that. Um, he did an interview with O'Shea Jackson Jr. Now, if you don't know who O'Shea Jackson Sr. or O'Shea Jackson the first or whatever he chooses to call himself is, you may know him as Ice Cube. The writer of Friday, he was in NWA, and all that good stuff. I know, a white guy trying to preach on that. Anyway, um, he has a son who looks just like him, so much so that he played Ice Cube in the Straight Outta Compton movie, which was phenomenal. If you've never gone out of your way to go watch Straight Outta Compton, it's worth purchasing. I'll just say that. It is an amazing movie. I mean amazing. Um, so, O'Shea Jackson Jr. does this interview with Chris Van Vliet, and I had known this for a couple of years now, but O'Shea Jackson Jr. is a avid, rabid wrestling fan. He loves professional wrestling. And he's a CM Punk fan, so that right there... Puts him on the nice list for me. But every time it appears that O'Shea Jackson Jr. goes on Twitter, or X or whatever we're calling it this week, and says something about AEW, he gets a ton of hate. So much so that people are tweeting things like, I never wished, I I now wish more than ever that Ice Cube had pulled out. (laughs) Come on, really? Really? Is that where the AEW babies are going? The, the a, You know, we, we talk about the Cody crybabies. AEW has the worst crybaby fan base in the world. If you don't bow down and kiss Tony Khan and the Young Bucks' feet, you're, you're, you know, you're the worst thing to ever happen. So, O'Shea Jackson Jr. responds to these guys. And I'm going to put in right now what he had to say. I'm going to put in the clip from the interview. Hey, Chris Van Vliet, if you're out there, do not copyright me. Okay? Fair use. You're you're a former news reporter, so you should know all about the fair use gimmick. But here's what O'Shea Jackson Jr. had to say about fans, AEW fans specifically, attacking him on Twitter. I'm a wrestling fan in my core. Mm. I watch WWE, AEW, New Japan, TNA. I watch it all. Mm. You seem to really like to rile up AEW fans. I don't mean to, man. But, like, the issue I have is, okay, for people who don't watch anything besides the two, okay, the four, uh, the, either, whether you're, you're younger or, or older, stuck in your ways, if I'm watching someone on AEW and I ask, who is this guy? I don't need you to tell me I'm not a real wrestling fan, to tell me how could you not know such and such who did, uh, who gives a damn. Like, I, I need you, all right, inform me, bro, or at least have your programming in a way to let people know why you should love this dude, why you should fuck with this guy. That's something that I feel like is missing. When you, Conan, when I was on his podcast, he brought up, when you watch UFC, and they give you a little backstory about this dude, backstory about that dude, uh, what this guy's had to go through, what he's done, and vice versa. And then they put him in the room, and they cuss each other out. And then by watching those videos, you've picked a side yes. of who you're with that's missing from that. What, what they have is this 
this this niche group of people who watch all of these wrestling shows and they're already in the know. So when they see these names together, it is a dream match for them. But you're trying to sell this to American television, baby. You got to movie that up a little bit. You got to give me some some cinema to follow, you know, some something to hold on to besides the announced team uh, running down a list for me while this dude's walking down the ramp. And I feel like that's missing. And when you are trying to get involved and, 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 and trying to, to really give something a chance, and when you question it even a little bit mm. and you get 80 no-faced accounts uh, coming at you, at, at any given time, you're like, man, fuck this noise, bro. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm cool off of it. If y'all like it, I don't. And I don't want that. So then me and AC and Hollywood Edwards were kind of discussing this because Jim Cornette went on his podcast and talked about how right O'Shea Jackson Jr. is. 100% right. And I, I think we may may hear a... Uh, o- O'Shea or uh, Jim Cornette, uh, he uh, has become an O'Shea Jackson Jr. fan, as it were. Um, so, me and AC and Edwards were kind of talking about this because I sent them the Cornette clip, and AC goes, uh, um, "Just listen to the O'Shea Jackson thing. My God, is that hard? He's one thousand percent correct." And I'm, I said, "Yep." He's basically saying I'm by Felicia to all the AEW marks, which is pretty much all that watch AEW. And AC goes, yeah, whatever. With the fans, the fans are morons. We've been there. And I brought up the fact that they have no casual fans. They don't. They don't have any casual fans whatsoever. And he goes, I'm talking about his points on playing to a cult fan base and assuming your audience knows everyone or and everything or giving a background uh, story, and hey, this is why you should care about the individual. He goes, um, all, and I and I type back and I told him all of AEW fans are read are internet reading cult fans, and they are. And AC goes, it's not what they want or don't want. They are cult because you can't criticize anything. It doesn't matter what you say if you don't say it's great. You're wrong. The content of what he's saying doesn't matter to them. And he's 100% right. And it's like this. If you don't go into AEW, and the fans are to blame here. This is why I'm calling this video, and I hate using this word, but the AEW fan base is toxic. And it's toxic against its own product, against their own product that they're cheering for. It's a smarts only club. And that's the way the AEW faithful want it. As I receive new messages here. Let me see. What are they sending me? Oh, man. The joys of being a truck driver. You get messages at all calls of the uh, night. Uh, This bull crap about healthcare plans that I don't subscribe to. Anyway. Sorry, folks. Um... So it's it's Mel, it's it's people. These AEW fans have people like Dave Meltzer to blame for evolving into this. And and here's what I mean by this: If you don't go into an AEW show without doing your homework, they're gonna laugh you out. They're they're not gonna pay you any mind. You're stupid to them. You don't like AEW if you don't go in there knowing everything ahead of time. You got to do your homework for that fan base. You know, it's like it's like, you know, if you don't read every copy of the Observer, if you if you've never read any every copy of the Observer, if you've never seen every New Japan match, uh, circa nine, uh, circa 2015 forward, um, if you have not watched AAA in the last five years, CMLL in the last five years, and every single episode of AEW Dynamite, then you're just scum to these guys. And that's just toxic, man. They don't have any casual fans because they don't want casual fans. It's like a, a, a smart boys only club. It's like a, a chess club. Where if you don't know how that rook moves and you don't know that the pawn can move and this way and that way, 
they don't want to know you. You better know your stuff ahead of time because heaven forbid the announcers should have to take time away from the flippity floppity floppity flu to tell a story and give some background as to who someone is. And what O'Shea Jackson Jr. was saying is, I, you know, the announcer should be doing that also, but also, you know, they should give a little bit of a video package or a vignette about these guys and build these guys up. I should not have to come in there automatically knowing who these people are. They've done it many a times. Hell, their own announcers have done this. I remember somebody ran in in the early days of TNA and and Sockface, a.k.a. Excalibur, goes, that's such and such from such and such. And Jim Ross literally goes, who? And then they had to explain who this guy is. And the AEW fans criticized Jim Ross for that. You should have known who he was ahead of time. And they're just, there is no more, they're all Meltzer followers. They're all Meltzerites who follow Dave Meltzer's every word. They are on his team 24-7. And if Meltzer says that they're good, oh God, they got to be good. If Meltzer says they suck, we're going to boo them out of the building. So... It's just, that's the way it is. It's not that they, it's not about what they like and what they don't like. It's it's that if you don't go in there knowing you're, you're you know, you're home, doing your homework there and you show it, they're going to bash you for it. And it's wrong. It's not the way wrestling should be. This The, the Tiffany Stratton, there are a lot of people who don't watch NXT who... Watch that Elimination Chamber, and bam, the star is born. They, they want to know more about Tiffany Stratton. So I'm hoping WWE on SmackDown gives us a little bit more background on her. In fact, I think they have done that on SmackDown in the last few weeks since she's debuted. You can't expect fans, you know, it's like every little kid who grows up watching baseball. Their dad, they sit down there with their dad, hopefully, or, or their mother or somebody. And, and like I had to do with my son. This is how you keep score. They keep score. This is what a run is, a hit is, an error. This is a base hit. This is an out. This is a strike. This is a ball. Here's the strike zone. you got to teach people this. You can't expect them to just go on there and automatically, you know, not everybody is going to automatically know it. And that's the difference. AEW fans wants to keep it so close-knit. And I never will forget, Meltzer's, you know, when, when Cornette had Meltzer on his show a few years back before they had their falling out, and I, Cornette point blankly asks him, what about the dick spot? How can you like the dick spot? And Meltzer's answer to everything, whenever Cornette would go, how can you like this, 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 and this? It goes against everything that the business has ever stood for. Meltzer's thing was, I don't like it, but the fans like it, so that makes it okay. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. The fans are wrong 90% of the time. I've been telling AC and Hollywood Edwards and everybody else the same thing about the Young Bucks for years. And now that they're finally showing it, now that they made it to the big time and are finally showing their true colors, they come out and say, I was right. Just because you like it and just because you laugh at it doesn't make it good. It's just like in Hollywood nowadays. Disney is finally learning. Just because it's diverse doesn't mean it's good. And the casual fan part, I I truly believe that there are no real casual fans in wrestling anymore. I mean, that that quips that argument right there because, you know, I've said it before on the channel. 
I've gotten a, quite a few people co- into wrestling over the last couple of years since they started coming around my family and being around my family. They go on YouTube and watch people who regurgitate Meltzer and, and, and Sean Ross Sapp and everybody else. They all watch the dirt sheets. All you got to do is go on YouTube and type in WWE, and the third video down is going to be some fat white guy like me talking to you like this about the the behind-the-scenes stuff. But that's what all AEW wants. AEW doesn't want anybody beyond that to be a fan. The fans and and the fans want to keep it that way. There will never be any casual fans with AEW because, like I said, unless you go in there as a smart, a smart mark, knowing your homework and knowing who main evented the Tokyo Dome each and every year, and if you can't name every main event of the Tokyo Dome for Wrestle Kingdom in order and state the winners, you're not a real wrestling fan and we don't want you here. That's the way AEW fans are. For better or for worse. And I'm, I mean, that's that's just the way the majority of them are. So, that's, that's my response. O'Shea Jackson Jr. is 100% right. And anybody going on Twitter and bashing this kid clearly doesn't know, clearly doesn't know who they're talking to. Because guess what? He could give two flying screws about what you guys say to him. He's a successful actor who has more money than God, and he doesn't need to value your opinion. And you can't go in there calling him a Nepo baby, because I'm sorry, I don't think Ice Cube raises his kids that way. All you got to do is see interviews that he's done with people like Sean Hannity, and and that, that tells you right there that he ain't raising no Nepo babies. These kids are working for everything they got. They may not want for anything. Guess what? My son doesn't want for anything. I work damn hard to get my son everything he wants. Does that make him a Nepo baby? No, that means that we're doing what we set out to do as parents and what you should do as parents. Give your kids a way better life than you had. So I, I think that I O'Shea Jackson Jr. is 100% right. Anybody bashing him, again, I said it from the beginning, AEW is going to be nothing but a bunch of idiots in a treehouse. And if you try to come in that treehouse and you don't know the high sign, you ain't getting in. We don't want you in. What's the password? High spot. Oh, if you don't know what a high spot means, we don't want you here. That's the way it is. It's the He-Man Woman Haters Club. For all you little rascals fans out there, AEW fans want to keep it as the He-Man Woman Haters Club. And heaven forbid you should actually like a woman and get laid. Because they don't want you there. Anyway, folks, if you see a big rig on the road, give us lots of room out here. Do not tailgate us. Let us over if we need to get over. Go the speed limit. If you can't see our mirrors, we can't see you. We'll see you down the road. What's the high sign?